what life must have been like for you, but you eventually very long got out of there. What what did it? What made you say, oh, this no? What? Well, a few things. So I was asked to serve in the Trump White House in April of 2020. So the height of the pandemic. I was actually the stupid the Department of Defense press secretary before then. It was my dream job speaking on behalf of the U.S. Armed Forces. Stop it. Get some help. But I was asked to go and serve. We were dealing with unprecedented crises in this country. We were hearing that we were going to have a Prado hypocrisy. Pot calling the kettle black. Pearl Harbor, a day of loss of life. Oh. And I thought if there was anything I could do to even marginally help, I couldn't say no. Hey, old man river, zip it or I'll break your hip. I ended up staying for seven months uh, through the election. I hadn't originally in intended to stay the whole time. Right. And let me be honest with you, it was extremely challenging. Uh what the hell is the world coming to? Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs>